Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshop and exercises to learn about AWS services. These workshop and exercises are published to a website, aws-dozu.com. Today, I'm going to talk about building express workflow in step function, which is a new feature which was got released during the reinvent time um, recently. So let's learn about this new feature. So before we talk about express workflow, let's try to understand some of the nature of the standard workflow so that you can compare that how express workflow is different from standard workflow. So standard workflow were really um, long running workflow. Um, they are mostly asynchronous in nature, uh, which can you know, go for execution as long as one year. Okay, and these standard workflow also come with certain throughput. So for instance, uh, the execution start rate, like uh, the rate at which you can start the execution of the workflow was um, like um, supported at 2000 per second. Yeah, uh, and if you try to see how many, uh, you know, what is the supported rate for state transition, that was 4000 per second per account. So these were the throughputs under which this workflow can uh, run and they can run asynchronous for up to up to one year. Now, being asynchronous, the way this standard workflow work was 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 the following. So, for instance, if you have a standard workflow, then you can use a start execution method uh, to start the workflow. And when you start the workflow, you can optionally send uh, input parameter if you want to provide some input parameter 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 for the workflow. And, and this start execution you can do either from AWS console or you can use API call or you can also use uh, CLI. But once you start the execution, your standard workflow starts execution in a synchronous uh, manner. And, and that's it, it's like fire and forgot. So you started the workflow, then you know nothing about it. Now, if you want to know the status of the workflow, uh, what is the current status, what is the state of transition going on, what is the output, if those things you want to know, then you have to make additional call because the whole execution is asynchronous. Your start execution will simply start the workflow and then you are done. Yeah, you simply, you, you are, your, your control return back to you. After that, if you want to know about the output or state or status of the workflow, then you have to call, you have to call certain describe methods like few shown over here to get the status of the workflow as well as the output. So that's how standard workflow used to work being asynchronous. You have to first start it uh, and then you have to use describe methods to get status and output of the workflow. Now, um, your express workflow work differently. And let's try to understand the express workflow execution first. So first thing first, your express workflow can execute both synchronous and asynchronous. And when you're talking about asynchronous, it is not different from how standard works. So I'm not, I'm not getting there. Uh, your asynchronous execution of the express workflow is similar to how your standard workflow execution works. But what I'm interested here to talk about is ex express workflow also supports synchronous workflow. That means you can make a request response type call to the workflow where you can use method, uh, method like start sync execution method to actually uh, start a workflow with uh, some optional uh, input parameter. The workflow will complete its execution and will give response back to you uh, in the output. And this whole thing work uh, uh, like, a, uh, like a request response synchronous call. So that's, that's where your express workflow is uh, different from your standard workflow. Your standard workflow was fire and forgot but your express workflow are um, are um, express workflow or request response type where you can start a workflow either from console either from api or from um, or from cli and then uh, you start the workflow and you get res get response in a synchronous manner so yeah a workflow will uh, execute the business logic defined and it will give you output right away um, in a in a synchronous fashion 
Now, other than synchronous execution workflow, Express workflow has some, some other features as well. So Express workflow are, uh, uh, are, uh, are used for a short live state, state machine workflow. They are used for um, high throughput uh, workflow. They are used for microservices kind of development. So keeping those kind of use cases in mind, the whole throughput configuration uh, uh, is different for uh, Express workflow. So for instance, if you talk about, um, uh, since it is used for fast computing tasks and microservices kind of use cases, then uh, maximum execution time for Express workflow is five minutes. So remember the standard workflow can go for one year, but Express workflow will not go uh, for more than five minutes. So really looking for building a task which will finish well within five minutes and in fact if you are uh, talking about uh, microservices kind of uh, implementation uh, then you might want to implement a, a express workflow we will give, will give you a response back within microseconds or millisecond kind of throughput yeah uh, other than that uh, if you talk about other throughputs like execution start rate uh, it can go to hundred thousands uh, execution starts per second and your supported state transition rate is nearly unlimited. So again, you can see um, that um, uh, uh, by understanding this execution model as well as the throughput um, rates, uh, you can really understand that if you want to create a fast computing, short-lived microservices kind of workflow um, uh, 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 or workflow to be exposed as a microservice, then you might want to use Express workflow uh, to build such uh, workflow. Uh, otherwise, if you are going for um, uh, a long-running workflow where uh, your throughput requirement is not de that demanding, in that case, you can go for a standard uh, workflow. So it's really very um, interesting thing because now with Express workflow, you can easily orchestrate various AWS services uh, using step function state machine workflow uh, to create uh, microservices and expose as an API. Okay. So uh, having said, this is what we are going to build today is going to be um, very small exercise because the whole idea was to understand how Express Workflow works and what are the use cases you would like to use Express Workflow compared to standard workflow. Uh, so the whole development is pretty small and, and simple. And what we are going to do is that we will have a Lambda function, which will be which will configure to call inside uh, Express Workflow. And then we'll simply uh, call this Express work Workflow from the console uh, in a synchronous manner. Again, uh, in the example, we are showing it how you can call it from the console using uh, in, a, in a synchronous manner. But you do have a choice to run this workflow uh, through uh, no behind an API, um, API, API in API, API gate way or by calling um, yeah by calling uh, API uh, in your code uh, or from the CLI yeah so in order to do this exercise we have published uh, an exercise to our web website aws dozocom uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps of the exercise and post that you can run this exercise by your own and learn about using Express uh, workflow so without without wasting any more time let's jump on to the exercise so here is the exercise which is published to our website aws-dozo.com. Uh, these are the steps you need to perform to um, to complete the exercise. Uh, and again, I, this is very small exercise. Uh, so the first step is that you need to have an AWS account. And if you don't have an AWS account, then you might want to use this link to create one trial account. After that, we create the Lambda function, uh, which we will which we will configure um, uh, to be called inside uh, the Express workflow. Uh, so we log into AWS console. We are choosing Ireland region for this exercise. Then you go to uh, Lambda management console uh, you say I want to create a function 
we simply give this a nice name called dojo function um, your runtime is python 3.8 and use the basic lambda from permissions because really we're not doing much over here in the code uh, so here we go uh, we define the lambda function so we are simply writing uh, one handler we, uh, where we get the input uh, data uh, uh, yeah uh, and then uh, that input data actually we simply simply go back so you can see that we're saying you call the lambda function with, with the parameter so we get the input data and we, and we simply uh, simply return it so it's pretty straightforward uh, and simple function so we simply uh, uh, change the code uh, with the following and then we simply deploy um, the lambda function once the lambda function is deployed we go to the next step where we configure the express workflow so you go to state machine workflow and here we say i want to create a state machine workflow uh, and you can see in the type now you have got two choices whether you want to go for classical standard workflow which was earlier as well or you want to go for express workflow which is um, the new feature which uh, got released and we talked about so you select the express option over here and after that uh, yeah building the whole business logic of the workflow is same as as used to be earlier so we simply go to the definition section and we are simply uh, configuring a very small workflow where we call a lambda function so if you try to see the json document for such a thing so we are simply saying uh, um, um, it starts with a call lambda function and that's the only state we are using over here and that is a task uh, where I want to invoke a lambda function then you replace the lambda ARN um, this placeholder with the lambda ARN so in the previous um, in the previous step you created the lambda function and you made note, note of the lambda uh, ARN uh, that lambda ARN you replace over here. Then we are trying to pass some input data. So uh, we will we'll part and we will provide a JSON document uh, as an input, which will have data as one of the element. And whatever the value of the data is that we want to pass as an input payload to the uh, lambda function. And, and you know the, what lambda function does. It will simply take the input and will simply echo back. Yeah, nothing more than that. So this is this is how we uh, define uh, the, the the business logic for the lambda function function uh, sorry for the uh, step function and it's pretty straightforward for this example over here. Then we simply move on to next state and say uh, this is my name of the state machine workflow uh, and you simply create a new role. Uh, you select the choice to create a new role which will give state machine workflow permission to call the lambda function. And then you simply uh, no, uh, click on the create button to uh, create state machine uh, button to create the workflow. Uh, the workflow is created and once the workflow is created, you can simply click on the start execution button. And here you can see that you have got two choices again, uh, asynchronous one, which is simply like calling your workflow like a standard workflow where you can simply call it and then you yeah pull the service to get the result back uh, the second uh, method is a synchronous method which we are interested in to do today uh, and we you select the synchronous method and then it asks you what is the input and the input we simply provide a json document uh, with a data element and if you go back to business logic over here this data element we are using to provide input for the lambda function uh, input payload so uh, we provide simply this as a as an input parameter and we say we want to start the execution and is execution will happen in a standard in, in a request response fashion it's not that you start the execution and you have to you know um, make additional call to get uh, the result out you get the result right away and you can see that your exp your uh, express execution has completed successfully click on this details link over here and it will show you your request response type of uh, behavior where you passed your uh, uh, input like this this json document and this is the json document you got as a response and this json document is the same json document which is uh, actually in fact this payload part is the same payload part which is returned by um, which is returned by your lambda function so you can see that you passed input one and you got input one input one back so literally uh, this was an example how you can define uh, uh, express workflow which is 
as good as defining a standard workflow and then you can call that that in a request response type of model uh, to get your job done and really this model can be used for building uh, uh, um, you know, like a, um, fast computer task or or microservices kind of uh, use cases okay and that's where finishes this exercise finish up finishes up uh, and the next step is to go and delete the resources so that you don't incur any cost post the uh, exercise so that was all for the exercise today guys uh, if you like uh, please click on the like button please subscribe to my channel there are many other workshop and exercise similar to this one uh, which you can use to learn about aws services um, um, yeah uh, please use that and uh, and, and implement scenario like this to learn uh, uh, AWS services and new features released. If you have any feedback and comment, you can either provide us that in the YouTube channel comment section, or you can click on the contact us tab over here and can provide feedback here as well. We always look forward to your feedback to uh, build new content and uh, uh, to make improvement in the in the in the content. So looking forward to your suggestions and the feedback um, and I promise to come back again in a couple of days time with another video and another workshop or exercise uh, in the meantime please stay safe and have a nice day bye bye